Hi, I'm Elena Lai Echeverry, founder and executive director of Charity Wings Art and Craft Center. We have a beautiful space in San Marcos, California, where people can come, gather, give back, and create. We just found out that we have to move our beautiful space. And we actually have to move by the end of the year. It's a huge opportunity for us to grow, spread our wings, and really hone in on what it is we can do for this community, what the need is that we're filling as a community space. Each day is a new opportunity to test your wings. So we were brought in to activate the area, get some foot traffic in here, get people to know about the quad and that it's here. And we did it. We got people coming, they found us, they know what the quad is now. Um, and now Urge Gastropub and Common House is across the street. There's Stella, Halcyon, a bunch of other businesses are going in. It was always the agreement between ourselves and our amazing benefactors, Urban Villages, that we would move when the quad started to fill up and it's filling up. This whole area is getting activated and we got to be a small part of that. We got to be kind of the foundation. So the first question is, where are we going? And right now, we don't know. The sky's the limit. We are looking for a home in North County. North County is grown from these little beach communities and rural farmlands into a hub for innovation, education, technology. It's become such an amazing place that really needs an art center to exist. We need to find another benefactor or we need to find another location. We are looking for minimum 2,000 square feet. Right now we're in 3,000 square feet. If you know the first art center or you've seen videos of it, it was 6,000 square feet, which was amazing, but that was actually a lot of room. <laughs> we're looking for something with windows or roll-up doors because we do have a need for natural light. We need a bathroom, an office, hopefully some storage space, and we do need a sink to wash out art supplies and paints and things like that, but we can have that installed. We'd love to have some outdoor seating because some of our guests come and as part of their journey here, they do have lunch and sometimes people are here all day and it's Southern California. So we want them to be able to enjoy the outside too. We would love to be in a place where there's already foot traffic, but if you want us to come activate your space, we can do that. We bring in people of all ages and demographics and it's perfect for the businesses around us. One of our supporters made this and I love pigs, and I love wings, so anything's possible, flying pig. We also have to fund this move, and one of the biggest challenges, I think, is the fact that we have to move by the end of the year, and that means we have to get through the holiday season. We lose about two weeks between Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, as far as volunteer help goes. If you can imagine, we are going to be completely packing up the art center. We're probably going to sell a ton of supplies because thank goodness for the community and our manufacturer supporters, we always have supplies on hand. So we'll be selling them and giving them to good homes, hopefully to other nonprofits that have art programs, to teachers that desperately need art supplies for their classrooms. We won't be able to host our classes and open studio. We won't be able to work on our events that we normally do and our private parties because the place won't be ready for those kind of things. And that is a big part of how we fund the Art and Craft Center. To bring the center down and then bring it back up, get people to know where we are, that's going to have definitely some marketing costs involved. During this transition time, we will be challenged with getting new members. We won't have a studio to show them, we won't be doing activities and events, at least for a few months. So we will miss out on those opportunities just for a little while. We are a gathering place. We're a gathering place for the community. You don't have to be an artist or a crafter to come. You just have to want to be around other people. We are the first of its kind. I've looked all over and tried to find other art centers like us where anyone can come. You can try almost any different genre of art and also that we do all of the nonprofit programming. In this age where technology has taken over, where we're on our cell phones, iPads, even reading from electronic books. We are missing out on that human interaction that is so important. People are having trouble finding places to gather, and that's what we have here at Charity Wings. You can do anything here besides the amazing array of supplies and opportunities to be creative, and all the things around to inspire you. We are also here to be a place where you're not judged, you can come and be having a bad day and you will leave here with a big smile on your face. 
I started the art center originally because I had this group of women who we'd meet every month and do art together. We called ourselves a book club, but it was really more of an art club. We are also host to multiple organizations that come in and use the space for their own creative missions. We have volunteers that teach every week wonderful organizations like Wounded Warrior Homes, Cancer Support Groups, different organizations that serve people with developmental disabilities. We help Boys and Girls Clubs. We do things with Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, teachers associations. San Marcos is an education hub and we do a ton with the universities and the different schools in this area. My wish is that every city can have a place like this. We are the first. You get inspired, you get creative, and we're also just here to be humans and have human interaction and greater cultural experiences. We want to blaze a trail and spread our wings so that more places like this can exist. It is imperative that Charity Wings Art and Craft Center survive this transition. Please help us. Donate today. Give us wings to fly and a place to gather. Thank you. Please help us find our forever home.